So let's start by saying that uh, using this line, this is a point where both the taxi and the bus started. So this is 20 minutes. And this is the point where the bar, the car or the taxi overtook the 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 bus. So this is 20 minutes. Uh, so let the total distance covered be x. So we can say in 20 minutes uh, the bus had covered bus had covered a distance. So distance is equals to speed multiplied by time. So this is equals to the speed of the bus was 75 kilometers per hour. You multiply by time which is 20 divided by 60 to make it hours. And so this means uh, this is 3. So 3 75 divided by 3 will give you 25 so this is hour so this means the ha bus had covered 25 kilometers now the time the taxi took to from the petrol station to the point where it overtook the bus is the same time the bus took to from the after 20 minutes to the point where it was overtaken by the taxi. So we can say a uh, taxi took time is equals to the total distance divided by the speed, which is 95. Uh, and then we have the bus, since it had covered uh, 25 uh, kilometers, then it means the total distance minus 25 kilometers divided by the speed which is 75. So if you equate these two, you should get uh, these times, they are the same. So we say x divided by 95 is the same as x minus 25 divided by 95, divided by 75, not 95. So when you compute, you cross multiply, you get 75 x is equals to 95 x minus 2375. So you take 95, 75 to this side and you find that 20 x is equals to 2375 divide both side by 20 divide both this side by 20 you get x is equals to using a calculator it is 118.75 kilometers so this is uh, the distance uh, from the petrol station to the point where the bus overtook the where the taxi overtook the, the bus. So that's how you work out that question.